While Larry's NBA playing career was in Boston, his heart never left Indiana. He joined the Pacers and was the NBA Coach of the Year and the Executive of the Year, becoming the only person to win those two honors in addition to NBA MVP. And if you guys want to know what pressure is, pressure is playing for Larry Bird, as Big Smooth, Jalen, they can attest to, playing for Larry Bird and having to go to Boston and win those games in Boston for Larry Bird. And by the way, we were seven and one in those games and I apologize, Larry, for losing that one game. But those were pressure. So let's take a look at the legend himself, Larry Bird. We didn't have a lot when we grew up in basketball. When it came into my life, that's all I did. I don't know where you get this killer instinct or wanting to win all the time, but it's a competition, and that's what I always looked at. And a catch! Drops in another! I'd love to compete, especially against the best. Usually the best bring more out of you. Anderson. As I went along in Boston, I sort of watched and enjoyed what I was doing. The Boston Celtics are the NBA world champions. I just want everybody to know, and I hope they think that I gave them all I had every night. The 1997-98 Coach of the Year Award goes to our own Larry. Being a player is the ultimate. Like I always said, I draw a place for other guys to have the ball in their hands. I had it in my hands. But it was a great experience for me just being on the other side of it. Be patient on offense, okay? Take your time and get whatever you want. I promised my players I wouldn't put them through anything that I'd never been through. But we're going to do things the right way. We're going to do them every night, not just once in a while. We had some success, all because we believed in one another. Like I tell people, this is all I know. Coming from a small town, going through college, playing the NBA, it's just something I never thought I'd be able to do. It's beyond belief. You are watching what greatness is all about. The man who I patterned my game after the legend of the year, Larry Joe Bird. Good afternoon. I have not hit a jump shot in over 30 years, and here I am. Come on. You know, on, on Thursday night, we had the open ceremonies, and uh, <clears throat> had the privilege of shaking Freddie Lewis's hand. That touched me. I love Freddie Lewis. He played the ABA. He was a point guard, very good player. See, I'm an ABA guy. I grew up with the ABA because that's all we get on our TV. My dad go out and tell me how to turn the antenna, and you holler at me, turn it back. That's how we got the ABA, ABA games. But I was a big ABA guy, and, and still is. And I played against a lot of the ABA players. But I just wonder, we have all these legends in here that paved the way for us. If we never got a college scholarship, would we ever be able to play in the NBA? I don't think so. I think that scholarship that we got in college paved the way for us because we couldn't afford to go to college. You know, if I walked in and asked my dad for money to go to college, he ain't got no money. He'd probably slap me upside the head and go, go, go get a job like I did. But I know everybody in here that had an opportunity to get to college and paved the way. And, and I know for myself that once I got in the league, 
it was a blessing. It paved the way for my family and I to have a great life, uh, live a great life. I mean, it's just unbelievable of how things turned out for me. I competed hard. I played the game the way it was supposed to be played. I played injured, and I played with a lot of pride. So I owe everything to the NBA, and uh, a lot of players I played against had some great teammates in Boston. I also got to coach for three years some of the finest young men you could ever be around. We didn't win a championship, but we got there. We won a lot of games. And after that, I was very fortunate. Herb Simon let me come in the front office for over 20 years. So I've been around a lot. I know what this league is all about, and I'm very proud of it. I'm proud of today's players. I like the game they play. Uh, it opened up for a lot of the players to be able to do some things and show their skills. Unlike back in the 80s when on the East Coast we hold and grab and push and fight and whatever it took to, to win games. But I like our game now. The one thing I would really like to see is they play hard tonight in this, uh, tonight in this All-Star game. I think it's very important when you have the best, the best players in the world together, you've got to compete and you've got to play hard. And you've got to show the fans how good they really are. So I hope you enjoy your weekend. I'm enjoying mine. Have a good All-Star game. So, was it as I described this morning? It's one of the things I refer to the job I have, and I've been at inside the NBA for 35 years. It's a get.